the cosmic rays are raining on the Earth all day, every day, but you will never know, unless, of course, you have the right tools. For the most part, these tools take the form of expensive and bulky laboratory equipment, but thanks to an MIT team, you can now build your own detector for 100 US dollars, which is small enough to take a plane or the subway. Forged in the crucible of supernovas and other astronomical events, cosmic rays rush through the universe until they collide with something. When that something happens to be the Earth, our atmosphere causes these rays to decompose into muons, charged particles that only last a few fractions of a second. Although they are very short-lived, these particles can be found throughout the atmosphere and even several kilometers in the Earth's crust, since their high energy allows them to pass through most of the matter. This constant cosmic rain is happening around us, but the detection of lightning is usually a complicated process with a large team. To detect these transients born in space, muon detectors are designed to amplify the signal of even a single photon. They do this by using photomultiplier tubes, lined with a material called scintillator that emits light when hit by charged particles. When a particle, such as a muon, bounces through the tube, the current it creates is amplified to the point where the detector can pick it up. The MIT hand muon detector began its life as a complement to the South Pole Neutrino Detector, Ice Cube. A series of small muon detectors was suggested as a way to improve the device's ability to capture neutrinos. Muons can cloud readings, so by knowing exactly where they are, scientists can ignore them while searching for much quieter neutrinos, which have no electrical charge. From there, MIT graduate student Spencer Oksani further reduced the system to develop a portable prototype. The pocket muon detector is much thinner than usual, requires very little power and can be mounted relatively easily. Other attempts at handheld detectors have taken advantage of technology and cameras on a smartphone, but this seems to be the smallest and cheapest dedicated device.